Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Fine. And you? I'm doing awesome. Thank you for asking. It was a busy day, but I'm okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what about okay. you? How was your day? Um, mm, stressful. Stressful. Yes. Oh, no. A lot of work. Oh, I imagine. Yes. <laughs> Where well, the rest? Missing. <laughs> okay. So uh, thank you for being on time to all of you. I hope that you have had a good day. And I know that sometimes Tuesdays are like a Monday. They are usually heavy as well. <laughs> but besides that, I hope that you're doing okay. And we're going to start the class in honor to the people who's always early because I know I'm missing a lot of people in still not joining the sections, but it's okay. We're going to start making a short review of yesterday class. Uh, we practiced this conversation talking about past, and we also studied a little bit about how to make the simple past yes, no questions, okay? That was the grammar topic for yesterday. It, um, so we studied there that, so to form the simple past yes, no questions, we have to place first the auxiliary did, then the subject after the subject, a verb in present because we have the auxiliary that already indicates past. So we don't need to conjugate the verb, we leave it in present. And then the complement and finally a question mark. So, and they are short, um, uh, you can give a short answer and then the answer you have to use always the auxiliary. Uh, if it is positive, you say yes, you say comma, um, subject, and then did. If it is no, you place no, you use a comma, and then a subject, and the auxiliary did not or didn't. You can, of course, give additional details. Esta parte es importante mencionarla porque, pues, um, si bien ven acá que en la pregunta el verbo está en presente, es porque aquí está el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Did you have a good summer? Entonces no otras le damos el verbo pasado, sino que lo dejamos a presente. Damos una respuesta corta, sea afirmativa o negativa. En el primer caso es afirmativa. Yes, I did. Hay un punto acá. Hasta ahí llega la respuesta corta. Luego se da información adicional que ya sería una nueva oración. Como es una nueva oración en afirmativo, no tiene auxiliar. En esta oración no hay auxiliar, por lo tanto el verbo se está usando en pasado. Haciendo una oración eh, a pasado simple. I had a great summer. Eso lo vimos ayer en el video de la plataforma. Quisiera saber si está claro si tienen alguna duda con eso. No, 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 ok. Um, so, entonces voy a poner el audio del Grammar Focus para que puedan practicar pronunciación y repetir en casa. Quiero compartir sonido. Aquí está. Ok, let's practice. Page 95. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you ride a bicycle? No, I didn't. I rode a horse.
Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Bien. Preguntas, tal vez pronunciación, o quisieran escucharlo otra vez. Quisiera escucharlo. Muy bien. Practiquemos nuevamente. Page 95, Exercise 8, Grammar Focus. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you ride a bicycle? No, I didn't. I rode a horse. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. Okay. Uh, questions about pronunciation or anything related to this grammar spot? No questions. Okay, um, ya con lo que repasamos un poco al principio de eh, esto estaba en el video de la ayer de la plataforma y se nos explicaba, verdad, de cómo se forman las um, questions aquí um, usando siempre el auxiliar did al principio, luego el sujeto. Luego el verbo en presente, porque ya está el auxiliar indicando pasado. Entonces el verbo no se traslada a pasado. Did you have a good summer? Y para responder, yes, I did. So, respuesta corta. Y hay un punto. Recuerden, hasta ahí llega la respuesta corta. Luego, a detalles adicionales. En este caso está diciendo, eh, es una oración... Ok, Maritza, gracias. Es una oración afirmativa la que se está haciendo, dando adicional, detalles adicionales. Entonces, so, en este caso sí, estamos trasladando el verbo a pasado. Es una oración afirmativa y sabemos que las oraciones afirmativas no llevan el auxiliar. Al no llevar el auxiliar, necesitamos poner el verbo en pasado. Eh, solo en oraciones afirmativas. Recuerden que en negativas y en preguntas el verbo se queda en presente por, porque está ahí el auxiliar pues ayudándonos. Entonces tenemos estas conversaciones, completed conversations, son conversaciones cortitas, tomando en cuenta lo que acabamos de estudiar aquí en el grammar spot, que también lo vimos ahí en la plataforma, vamos a completar eso. Eh, lo tienen en la presentación, es esta diapositiva que tienen acá y pueden discutir las respuestas en grupo. Ahí tienen entre paréntesis los verbos que van a utilizar y pues ahí ustedes deciden si, um, si lo tienen que pasar a pasado o no, si es pregunta, si necesitamos agregar el auxiliar o algo más para completar las conversaciones. Lo vamos a hacer en grupo para que sea un poco más eh, participativo y compartan eh, lo que um, han logrado comprender de este tema. Déjenme hacer los grupos. Ok. 
Okay, let's join the rooms. Went? No. Went? Went. Anywhere last Anywhere. summer? Summer. No, I? I. Did or had? Didn't. Did. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't because I didn't. it is a negative answer no i didn't 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 i i stay stayed stayed, stayed. no only d stayed ah si sí, ed stayed stayed sí. pero se pronuncia stayed I stayed here. Here. 
two. I got 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 pasado. I got a part time job. So I. Uh, Oh, you Dios santo. speak, you speak <laughs> English last summer. No, you. I didn't. But, but I, no. I read, I read. <laughs> English, no, English books and I watched and I watched but English I read. Ay, no. Ay, Dios santo. Todavía va allí. And I watch. Sí. And I watch. It. Watch. Okay. Watch it. Watch it. And I watch it. No, watch it. English and I watch. Mm -hmm. What? English movies. Mm -hmm. Va. Está cenando. Ya lo ya completo. Ya se no. <laughs> No. Ah, están cociendo los. Mm. Repite. Vale, okay. Practicamos. Practicamos. Ok. Todo ok. Did you have a good summer? Yes, yes I, did. I did. I did. I had. I a had a great summer. I went. Ah, pues, fast, fast. Ah, wow. la otra me faltó. I went. I went. Ay, no. I no, went. No. Go, I go to the I beach a lot. To... To I went to the beach. No, I went. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I went to. Mm -hmm. I went to the, the number beach. Number two. Mm -hmm. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, no I, didn't. I didn't. I, I stayed. Idea. Here. Here, I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Mm -hmm. Did you take mm -hmm. any classes last summer? The página de la diapositiva es. I don't know. Ahorita, ahorita. Es la número. ¿Dónde estoy? Once. Six, seven, eight, 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 did you speak English did you, last summer? Did you English last last summer? No, I didn't. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I wrote I read, read, read. Mm -hmm. and I watched English movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nada más que no lo veo porque vean. No hagan no hagan caso a mi cabello, please. <risa> Miren la puerta. No le queda quieto. Por favor. Permítame que no lo veo. Ya. Solo encendí la cámara, pues. Ah, vaya, pues está bueno. Repeat, Juan, Juan. Oh, Todo que no, lo repita, Juan. It, it's not correct to say one more time. Wait, ah, Juan. Juan. Oh, yes, one more time. Yes, it's correct. Juan Cruz. One and, moment, please, it's not correct. And Juancito, I don't know. What is the last name? The other Juan. The other Juan. The no, other Juan. Uh, Juan, what is your last Hernandez. name? Hernandez. Oh, Hernandez. Okay. Yes. Hernandez. Okay, one more yeah. time. Did you have a good, a good summer? Yes, Juan. I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Yeah. Did you go anywhere last summer? Juan Hernandez. Number two. Mm -hmm. uh, give me a second. I'm, view the, I'm viewing the. 
Okay. In which page it is? Eleven, I it's think. It's in the eleven one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, the I did. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the number two. Did, the, the number two. Did you go anywhere last summer? Oh, okay. Uh, did you go anywhere last summer? Mm -hmm. No, I did. I stayed here and I got a part-time job. So I made some extra money. Yeah. Okay, Vilma, did you take any class last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Alejandro, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English book and I watch English movies. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yes, I did. I have a good time. Ah, okay. Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stay here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Hello. Oh, let's see. Yes. Yeah, in mute. <laughs> Hi, um, how was the exercise? Was it easy, difficult? Easy. Easy. Nice. <laughs> now let's check the answers. Mm, I can make it bigger, but it's here in this little square. So you may have the answers like the words in bold. It's did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. And then in number two, did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. And then number three, did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and played tennis every day. Any number four, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read English books and I watched English movies. Were your answers correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. So I heard some of you practicing. Um, you completed the exercise, and after completing the exercise, you practice pronunciation, and you're doing a very nice job with this. Um, just remember to pronounce the letter T when you are pronouncing this word. Great. Great. Porque si no pronuncian la T, Suena como el color gris, gray, gray. Entonces, si me dice, I had a gray summer, o tuve un verano triste. Como gris, no sé. Entonces, remember, it's great. Yes, I had a great summer. Okay. But you did an excellent job. Eso fue lo único que escuché. Anduve por ahí y eso fue lo único. So, let's practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had yes, a I great did. summer. I went to the beach a lot. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money.
Did you take any classes last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis, tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Good. Did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't. But I read English books. And I, I read English books. I read. Uh -huh. I read. <laughs> Very good. But I read English books and watched English movies. Okay. Yes, I remember that uh, no se pronuncian ed, so it, I watched. And this one, it's with T, the, the final sound, and I watched English movies. But Sound, yes. mm -hmm. Sounds like washed. 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 Watch, yeah, watch, watch. Uh -huh. Yes, es, es bien similar al sonido de ambos. Mm -hmm. Es como practicarlo bastante para que watch, watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Mejor le limpiamos para nada más. Yeah, watch, watch, and watch. It's yeah, practice. Okay, so the... The next activity is to ask these questions in group, but providing your own information. If so, you had to, for example, in number one, did you have a good summer? You need to answer something different to this because I see that you may do, or you may have done different activities in your summer, not. Um, Going to the beach, maybe you did something different. You can say, yes, I did. I have a, oh, I had a fantastic summer. I visited um, a different country. I went to Guatemala a lot, I don't know. So, cambiar la respuesta. Um, que sea una respuesta de ustedes, no lo que está acá. Las preguntas sí las mismas pero la información de ustedes, no, no la, la respuesta ya hecha acá. Entonces esa es la siguiente práctica en grupo. No sé si tienen alguna pregunta. No questions. Ok, let me create the rooms. Remember, es hacer estas preguntas, pero que eh, vamos a estar dando nuestra propia información, no las respuestas de acá.
Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed your practice. Remember that it's just this class left and four more and we are done with this module. So take advantage of the time and practice as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Um, we have completed this exercise. Let's see. Ok, this is a kind of review. Esta se las incluí como un repaso de todo lo que hemos visto con el simple past with um, regular and irregular verbs. For tomorrow, we will start the simple past with B. Eh, simple past with B es un poco más sencillo. Bueno, yo pienso. <laughs> so, vamos a empezar con el eso mañana. Vamos a cerrar ahora con repasando este tema. Es um, para hacer oraciones afirmativas. Es el primer cuadrito que tenemos aquí. Remember is first the subject. El sujeto puede ser un pronombre o el nombre. Luego el verbo conjugado a pasado. Sea regular o irregular, no importa. Then the complement. Para oraciones negativas vamos a ubicar sujeto primero sea pronombre o nombre. Luego el auxiliar didn't, que contractado es did not. Después del auxiliar, el verbo en presente, ya no lo conjugamos por la razón del auxiliar acá, ¿verdad? Y complemento. Pregunta, la yes, no question, la vamos a formar colocando el auxiliar did al principio de la pregunta. Luego el sujeto, que puede ser un pronombre o el nombre. El verbo en presente, ya no lo conjugamos porque aquí está el auxiliar indicando el tiempo. Complemento y al final signo de pregunta. Para responder afirmativamente, acuérdense que siempre va a ir yes. Luego el sujeto y auxiliar did. Si la respuesta es negativa, no. Then subject and auxiliary didn't o did not. Ahora, para poner esto en práctica, tenemos estas oraciones que vamos a ir completando, poniendo en práctica lo que ya vimos en esta unidad del simple past with regular and irregular verbs. En number one, you see I and uh, everything indicates that is an affirmative statement. So I just um, conjugate the verb wait to the simple bus, waited. I waited 10 minutes for the bus. I'll give you time for you to complete the rest of them. You can do it in your notebook. If you are fast enough, you can write the complete thing. If not, don't worry, you just write the answers. I'll give you some time. And after that, we are going to check together.
finish. No yet. No yet. Not okay. Okay, let's see. Um, wants to provide the answer for number two, volunteer. He usually. He usually walk to work, but he didn't walk to work yesterday. Excellent, didn't walk. No conjugate the verb. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Number three. Teacher? Yes. Thank you. I was really surprised when my friend cooked dinner. Excellent. Thank you so much. That's the answer. Number four. Did you order uh, your food? Yes, we did. Okay. Did you order? Ahí no conjugamos mm -hmm. el verbo porque ya está el auxiliar, right? In question. Did you order? Uh -huh. Did you did you order? Your food, your food? Yes, we did. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number five, volunteer. My friend, um, my friend didn't play tennis last Thursday. Tuesday. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. Number six, Troy. Wanted. Uh huh. Excellent. Try. Wanted to. Studied. El segundo. Study. Lo dejamos así o lo conjugamos. Is regular verb. Uh -huh. Pero hay una regla que se mira como en el no, básico no. dos. Excelente. En este caso, cuando hay dos verbos juntos y ninguno está jugando como auxiliar, en ese caso necesito conjugar nada más el primero en el tiempo que lo necesite, ¿verdad? Porque también sucede en presente que a veces tenemos dos verbos juntos. Entonces, el primero es el que queda conjugado y el segundo se deja en infinitivo. O sea, se pone el to y el verbo se deja study. así. Ajá, to study, sin conjugarse. Solo conjugamos el primero. Uh -huh. 
Muy bien, gracias. Y qué bueno que hicimos este recordatorio, ¿verdad? Entonces nos quedaría try, wanted, ese sí en pasado. El otro lo dejamos así, uh -huh. to study for the Just final time. exam. Ok. Very good. Y eso aplica en pasado simple, en presente, en todos los tiempos. Si estamos con dos verbos juntos, el segundo se deja en infinitivo. Eh, Juan levantó la manita. Dígame, Juan. Uh, yes. Uh, I don't remember if we can use the ING form if we have uh, two words as this example. Yes, sure. Uh, se puede con ING. Eh, pero en este caso, eh, el mm. ING, más que todo es cuando se son verbos que expresan sentimientos, como por ejemplo, like, hate, love, esos sí se pueden con el ING. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, hay, um, hay, digamos que yo quiero decir, odio cocinar. Entonces yo puedo decir, I hate to cook o I hate cooking. Uh -huh. En eso se puede hacer con ING cuando estamos eh, con verbos um, eh, que expresan algún tipo de emoción o sentimiento como hate, love, enjoy y like. Muy buena pregunta. Ok, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Any other question? Ok. Continuamos entonces. Uh, volunteer for number seven. First, we boiled the weather and then we poured it into a cup. Ok, very good. En ese caso sí conjugamos los dos, ¿verdad? Porque son yes. oraciones separadas, los verbos están separados, and that's okay. Thank you so much. Very good job. And number eight. Teacher, one question. Uh -huh. You have a question? Uh, eh, en esa oración, en número seven, eh, o sea, cuando hay dos verbos, siempre que los separe alguna coma o un punto, se toman como oraciones separadas. Sí, ajá. Y en este caso, como está dando instrucciones, es como que le preguntaron cómo hiciste tal cosa, ¿verdad? Primero, first, we boiled, pasado, the water. And, entonces viene una coma y una conjunction agregando otra oración. Entonces, esta otra oración también tiene su verbo. And then we poured into a cup. Ok, thank you. Yeah. Pero la regla es que no pueden estar eh, uno acá, uno, uno junto al otro en el mismo tiempo. O sea, no puedo tener dos verbos juntos en pasado simple o dos verbos juntos en presente simple. Se tienen Siempre que separar. Se conjuga uno. Ajá. Y en el caso de que eh, ninguno de los dos esté funcionando como auxiliar. Como auxiliar. Porque, por ejemplo, una oración en presente con un verbo auxiliar podría ser tal vez utilizando el verbo auxiliar can. El que es poder. Entonces yo digo, I can play the guitar, por ejemplo. Entonces tengo can y tengo play, pero can okay. es auxiliar. Uh -huh. mm, ok. Ajá. Gracias. You're welcome. Uh, let's continue then. Uh, number eight. Volunteer for number eight. Did they laugh at your joke? No, they didn't. That's correct. Thank you so much. Just the auxiliary did. The verb remains the same, laugh. And then the auxiliary in the question. No, they didn't in the answer. Very good. Number nine. What time did you arrive? at school this morning. That's correct. Thank you so much. Number 10. Neil Armstrong. Landed. 
Yes, that's correct. It landed with Edie. Number 11. What did you do? Did you do? Uh huh. Excellent. What did you do last Saturday? Uh, Trump worked. Excellent. Worked. I worked 40 hours last week. Number 13. Did you fix your did, bicycle? Uh huh. Did you did fix? You fix, fix, and repair. Yes. Uh huh. Bicycle? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. That's correct. Excellent. Como es pregunta, tenemos did. El verbo sin, sigue igual. Fix. No se conjuga. Muy bien. Thank you so much. Uh, 14. The bag was very heavy. So I didn't carry. I didn't carry. It to the truck. It to the truck. Okay, good. So not necessary to conjugate, right? Very good job. And 15, how many times? Did you text? Did you text? Uh-huh. Your friend yesterday. Okay, well done. So we completed the exercise. Eh, completamos el ejercicio. Muy bien que pudimos repasar algunas cositas eh, que pues son importantes y a veces se van quedando por ahí. Eh, no logramos hacer la reading. La lectura es la última de la sección 4. Sí, pero lo podemos hacer mañana la reading. Vamos bien con el tiempo. Ya solo nos queda la sección 5. Mañana les mando la presentación temprano. Ok. So thank you so much for joining. Sleep well and see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye